Duncan and the Grumpy Passenger. <laughs> Duncan, the narrow gauge engine, pulls passenger coaches. He takes people to work every morning and brings them home from work again in the evening. Oh, at last. Oh, dear. Oh. Hello, Duncan. How are you? How am I? I'll tell you how I am. I've got an awfully wobbly wheel. Maybe you should go to the steamworks. Oh, hi. I already did, but Victor told me there was nothing wrong with it. Typical. Have you seen the track at Crossney Curran? No. Why? What's happening there? Don't ask the thin controller, because he says nothing. But every time I pass through, my rivets rattle and my funnel shakes. And now look at my wobbly wheel. But... And to top it all, of this one passenger who's always grumbling and complaining. He's even had the cheek to say I'm not doing my job properly. Well, you are running a bit late, Duncan. Oh, don't you start. Duncan was an engine who liked to complain himself. But what he said about his passenger was true. Duncan's grumpy passenger complained almost as much as Duncan did. He complained if Duncan was running late. And he complained when the coaches were too full. He complained when Duncan went too slow. Come on! What's the hold up? And he complained when Duncan went too fast. Ah. Hello, Duncan. Everything all right? No. I have a very grumpy passenger, Peter Sam. He's never happy, even though he's got nothing to complain about. <laughs> really? Is that true? What? <laughs> if it's not true now, I'll soon make sure it is. Duncan went to the depot to pick up some extra coaches. Hello, Duncan. What are you doing? I'm picking up some extra coaches for tonight, so there'll be plenty of room for everyone. None of my passengers will have any reason to complain. But, Duncan, Star Lowy needs those coaches for his passengers. That evening, Duncan was in good time to pick up his regular passengers. Hop on board, everyone. Plenty of space for all of you. But Scar Lowy couldn't take his passengers anywhere. Hey, Duncan! What are you doing with my coaches? Come back here! Yeah. What kind of a right. Look at the tank. Come on, do something about it! Are you going to do something? As Duncan sped along, he came across some workmen busy on the line. Oh, no! Warning flags! If I slow down, there's going to be complaints from that passenger. So Duncan didn't slow down, and the workmen were very cross. Duncan was feeling very pleased with himself. He was happy. And so were all his passengers. Except, of course, for one. But the following morning, the grumpy passenger was not on the platform. Hello, Duncan. Isn't it time you set off? Aye, but one of my passengers is going to be very grumpy indeed if he misses his train. The grumpy passenger had slept through his alarm clock and was running late. Don't get train! 
So Duncan waited on the platform, even after the guard had blown his whistle. Oh, oh yes, I just made it. <laughs> well, you can't say he has anything to complain about this morning. But the other passengers were not so happy, because now they were late. And the station master was cross too. Oh, hurry up, Duncan. Get out of the way. You've made me late too, and my passengers are not happy about it. Everyone was complaining. Oh, no, no. Oh, it's not good enough. Oh, there's a course. Oh, dear. Call this a railway. Oh, dreadful. Every day something goes wrong. So predictable. Seats uncomfortable. Trains are always late. Ah, oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Duncan was trying to make up for lost time when he came across the workmen once again. I can't be late. I can't hear any more complaints. <laughs> seem to do anything right today. At the end of the journey, the thin controller was waiting for Duncan. Sir, I know what you're going to say, and I'm truly sorry. Thank you for saying so, Duncan. But why did you take Scarlowe's coaches and speed through the railworks and ignore the guard's whistle? Because of that grumpy passenger, sir. I was trying to stop him complaining. Duncan, I know that passenger well. He's always grumpy, and he always finds something to complain about. But today, you made everybody grumpy. Yes, sir. I, I know, sir. From now on, you must do your best to ignore that man and get on with doing your job properly. Will do. Thank you, sir. That evening, when Duncan passed the men working on the line, he decided to slow right down. Oh, come on! Hurry up! I'm going to be late for my tea! Evening, Duncan. It's surprising to see you smiling at the end of a busy day. But I've had a good day, Reneas. Today, I learnt a very important lesson. I'm going to change my ways and be a different engine from now on. Just you wait and see. Really? You mean you're going to stop grumbling once and for all? No. I mean I'm going to stop listening to that grumpy old passenger and just get on with being really useful. Good for you, Duncan. Good for you. All right, all right. I'm going. Stop grumbling, indeed. It's not me who's always grumbling. Ouch! Ah, there goes my wobbly wheel again. I knew this would happen. Why do people always think it's me who's always grumbling? I mean, I've never grumbled in my life. Me, grumbling, don't think so. 